All right, back in county. Make some more moonshine here. Check the mail about Miss Whitaker about Cosmo. No new mail. I mean, that's just the way it goes. Okay, Ms. Whitaker, I will be in and out of county this Sunday evening. Dear Ms. Whitaker, I will be in and out of county this Sunday evening. If you are available, please let me know. I should be around tomorrow evening as well. Thank you, Josh Faith. Oop, poor bird. Guess I should equip all my stuff to. books I need to get rid of. I'm not going to actually write those books. I mean, I would love to, but... Oh, crap. I didn't want to make the mash. I wanted to make the... Still. Oops. Hopefully I still have enough. Dandelion water. Mmm, delicious. There's always so much going on here. Anything in my cart? <laughs> Server scheduled to restart. Oh yeah, okay. Let's put this back inside. I don't really want to sell it. it. Takes too much work to go around selling. Maybe I could keep one to sell.
That's right, I was going to keep one of these. But otherwise, it's like, where am I going? Like, what am I doing? Could check the newspaper for events. I'll check it. Uh, let's see, July 30th? I don't remember anything happening on July 30th. Next weekend, there's a community meeting. that is, but they're all in white. Probably a doctor. Thank you, sir. Hope you enjoy. Hello there, sir. Hello. Doesn't look like the Song Bear Cafe's got anything going on. So I mailed Miss Whitaker. I should probably send Barry a message. Hey, Rooster. How's it going? I haven't, haven't been in county a lot, but I see you've been in GTA a lot, as far as your streams go, I think. County tonight, Sunday, and I'm going to try and be in County Monday afternoon. Hope to see you around, Brent. Yeah, I know. I'm not really liking the way things are leaning either. That's. I took a vacation like three or four weeks ago, and when I got back, a lot of people were already gone, and I was getting a little tired of everything too, so. I, don't know. I just love RP. Good RP. But that's harder and harder to find here. And now that you're gone, 
Like, I could always count on you to RP with, but... I was thinking about buying Grand Theft Auto and trying 5M. I just, I like the cowboy world. thing I got to stay around for is at least I was I was having a horse bred that took me a long time to uh, work out the relationship with the horse breeder and stuff and I like to see that through at least um, but otherwise like I'm logging on and I'm just doing the motions you know but nothing's going on Teamscape okay I mean I've bought in Red Dead three times I bought in Grand Theft Auto 5 three times. None of them on the PC. So, what's one more time buying a game again? Oh, can I can you just buy it online just like you can with Red Dead Online? Cuz if you can just do that, I'll just do that. Maybe it's cheaper, like 20 bucks or something. All right, let's see if there's some RP here. Good old Blackwater. Saloon looks empty. Hmm. Not gonna let that stop me from having a drink though. I don't like wearing my guns around in town. Any juicy gossip or anything I should know about? Uh... Careful at the bar. What? This is a go-to place. This is where everybody comes, where everybody knows your name type of shit. I mean, I, I don't carry anything with me anymore because the robberies have been so bad. Like, I got money in the bank and there's been some shit. I don't think that beer was enough. Let's do a tequila. Let's make a bad decision here. They allowed drinking on the streets here? A gang, huh? Yeah, I stopped um, before I really stopped playing. I, st I, I stopped following the rule of um, regard for your own life. Like, how they say, like, oh, don't go. Uh, if you're getting accosted by, like, three or four gang members, you should just give them whatever they want so they can just rob you blind. That's, like, the way the county works. But not anymore. If, if there's guys with masks on or guns out, I just instantly pull out my gun and start blasting like the the county in my perspective like from my rp like it's not safe enough to to walk around so you got to just be ready to kill everybody speaking of i should probably put my shotgun back on blacklisted gang yeah i mean there's just something about the criminals are rewarded so highly in the server at least i've never played any other server it's the first thing i've ever done but i just see like 
criminals get away with everything. And even if they don't get away with it, like the consequences for not getting away with it are just a slap on the wrist. So, like, I get the Wild West is a hard place. Like, back in the day, life is hard. Right? Okay, I'm going to leave that guy alone. I don't want anything to do with that. But at the same time, like, I don't... I'm going to head to my house. I, I just don't want to have live in a world where, like, all the criminals just get everything, you know? Donators? I mean, I'm a donator. I haven't got anything from it. Think slash streamer mode. What's that going to do for me? I won't hear the music and sound, okay. Oh, well, is this also gonna stop me from like... I don't think there's any sounds in the game you really need to hear. Maybe we, uh... Actually, I'm gonna turn it back on. I like hearing all that stupid shit. Oh, cause Twitch will hit you for the music. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I just, I was reading in the newspaper, they added phonographs. And I can see how that could be a problem. I think everything, if it's all period specific and everybody's following the rules, everything should be in the public domain at this time. But I can see how not everybody's going to follow those rules. Yeah, see, that's, that's the main... And it all leads back to, again, the main reason I've been playing less is I want good... Time-specific RP. I remember the very first uh, talent show. This was, what, back in, like, June? I don't remember. That was about, like, my first few weeks in county. And I was like, oh, great, we're going to have this awesome talent show. And, like, in the talent show, people were, like, singing modern-day songs and, like, just being ridiculous. And I was like, wait, this isn't, this isn't what I thought this world was going to be. And it's only gone more down that direction. I want to sit around a fire, tell stories, talk, go hunt. Um, at least read a modern song as a poem. Yeah, that could work. I mean, it still is, wasn't, I guess, out of completely like fourth wall breaking and stuff because it was a person singing it. Um, but, like, it was also vulgar, which, you know, I am an upstanding citizen. Like, yeah, whatever. All right, I got to disconnect now. Man, it just, it seems like all the people that I like to play with are not around anymore. And I'm too old to make new friends. San Denis too? That's my next. That's where my house is at. I want to go to San Denis. I want to live there. I mean, that's where, yeah. I, I want to play around there. What about if my new character is going to be someone who lures criminals into thinking I'm an unsuspecting civilian just to try to murder them? No, that's that's dark. That's that's dark, Joshua. Well, dreamscape. You know what? I, I while I while I got a second here, let's search. I'm already signed into Rockstar Online. Let's see if the uh, server's starting up. Let's see if I can get GTA Online cheap. But yeah, I've also just, I put any good gun on my horse. I don't carry around money anymore. Like if I get robbed, 
which it just seems like, again, you're supposed to just lay down and take it, then I get robbed, I guess. Okay, I don't want the Trilogy Definitive Edition for $60. Doesn't look like you can buy just the online version. Oh, the premium edition's only twenty nine ninety nine. I mean, the game has been out for like ten years. Only in on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, I'm a teacher, so like my summer was open, like. Didn't really have much going on, but now school year started back up again, and so who knows when I'll be on. It's good to hear from you, at least. Uh, I like watching your stream when I'm got the time. But there's so much going on when I watch you in Grand Theft Auto. Like, oh man, like the mechanics of that game are way more complicated than this game. Like, there's so much you buying walkie talkies and talking to people. And it's like, I like this. This one was hard enough just to know like how to buy horses and do everything and get them trained. Now I'm thinking like Grand Theft Auto, man. I'd have to start off like a, uh, you know, probably a petty criminal. Probably go the criminal route if I made another character just because I've already done the white hat. Might as well do the black hat. It's not so bad. Yeah, I imagine there's just as many people who want to help as... If you, if you look for it. Full criminal. Yeah, I think criminal would be fun, but I still, I don't know. The RP for me always, every time I've ever done any game, I've always done the good side. Like, even when I replay a game, like Red Dead Story, I find it hard. To, I'm like, I can't just kill this guy. Like, it hurts me. So I always end up going like maybe gray rather than the like white, but I can't ever go full black. Put my gun away, I don't want to scare this guy. So friendly criminal, yeah. See that? That makes sense. Like the sadistic criminal, like a Micah character, or a um, what's the sadistic character in Grand Theft Auto Five Story? Uh, I forget. Uh, that tortures and stuff like that. Like that would be hard for me to play. That would be a hard scenario. Um, but I, I could still be a friendly criminal. No needless, like, acts of violence for no reason. Something, you know. Trevor. Yeah, Trevor. Trevor was a great character, though. Oh, man, that game was good. Rockstar makes some great freaking games, man. Every time he hits his head, violent number dick. Yeah, I could see you just being like on a drug deal or something, and then some guy tries to come up behind you, hit you in the back of the head, and then all of a sudden, eyes go red. It's like Kill Bill, like, me, me. It's like, you know, all of a sudden, just start killing. Wait, 
like, this isn't where I'm going. I'm going to Saint Denis. I guess let's just mosey on through this town. Ooh, we get stopped to see how much money do I got in the bank here? I was just wondering that. Gmo. See? 4,000. I got 4,000 in Valentine, too, so... I ain't hurting. I could always buy new guns. If I need to. And I got a new horse on the way. Still haven't heard from... K. Um... 5M, I imagine, also, if you got a second to answer my question. Uh, 5M's probably pretty easy to set up, too, right? No more, no more complicated than this game has been, I imagine. I had to watch some YouTube videos and search some, like, forums and stuff like that, but... It seems like once you just Excuse get everything... Me, sir. Oh, 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 yeah? A mom moment of your time, if you will. What, what's your name? Oh, my name's Joshua, sir. How about yourself? Um, James Kidd. Nice to meet you. Um, would you mind getting off the horse a sec? I need to have a conversation with you. Uh, I got a place to be, sir, so, um, I'll see you later. Oh. Yeah, like, what, what type of RP was that? Voices are fine, but if they're annoying... I'm not going to sit and listen to you. And you asked me to get off my horse? Why would I need to get off my horse? You're wearing a mask around in town. Of course, like, that's just part of your headgear. You have to, like, take that off. But that could have been a time when I just pulled out my gun and shot a man. But I want to go see my house again. And I'm just getting robbed in the middle of towns now, too, which is like, is that the way the Wild West worked? Was it, like, so lawless that you could just walk out of a saloon and then just, like, oh, well, give me all your money. Like, where's where's the sheriff at? Like, I get vigilanteism is, is looked down upon, but citizen, good citizens motivated to protect, you know, their town, their community would step in if, like, a gang was doing something. I mean, maybe not everybody. There's plenty of cowards, but Joshua would. I even forgot that man's name already. Jake or something. I don't know. It wasn't Jake. John? I don't know. Justin? Jimothy? Maybe it didn't even start with a J. James Kidd. Let's just get back to the house. I need to... I, I feel like I need to go into the house every once in a while so it doesn't get taken from me. I'd rather sell it back to the county since Barry's never online, but we, like, co-own it, even though, like, I spent close to the money on it, but it's a nice gentleman in a white coat. He seems like he's hurting. Are, are you all right, sir? Do you need some help? Oh, God, there's gunshots. Someone robbing the general store. <laughs> My buddy Leech did it. He got destroyed. Must have been an NPC anyway. All right. 
Galaxy, do you have anything in your pockets? I forgot to check. Just the normal stuff. And my Springfield rifle, because I don't want to lose that. That's the most expensive thing I own. I mean, this medication is, is expensive too, but not, not as much as my rifle. That's why I just don't buy anything. People steal it. Do not disturb. See if Barry added anything to his floor. Nope. Still just a bed and a clothesline in the middle of the room that sticks through the floor. I keep my area modest, you know. I got my safe with my statue of my pheasant. Wardrobe to change, piano because I like to play, and seating for uh, company. Let's see, what do we got in here? I should probably dump all the stuff from my cart in here, too. See, I got tons of sugar, blackberries, like plenty of ingredients. I don't know why. Why would he move the still to the other side of town? Like, you know, we got moonshine in here. Ugh. We should have just kept the still right here. It was nice in the backyard. You'd go take all my ingredients, make a bunch of moonshine. Well, I haven't checked out the squeak easy. Let's check that place out. I mean, personally, if I own the saloon in Black or in uh, San Denis, I would just call it the Bastille because that's a great friggin' name, and it's posted on the outside of the building. But I guess if you want to call it squeak easy. This way, that way, I forget. See, like, why am I going around in town with a gun? Because I feel threatened. This place is supposed to be open for business again. See if they got any uh, good weapons here. Or cheap weapons. How much is a shotgun? Because that's the, that's the biggest thing I'm worried about losing. Peter sawed off. Double barrel. Yep, 300 That's That's a good price. I think that's what I paid for mine. All right, Galaxy, let's go over to the squeak easy. Rank the rest of this money away. James Kidd, huh? James Kidd. I know what his story is. He's definitely got an annoying voice, though. Hard to listen to. and it looks like an acorn. It's 
just Sunday, I know, but... Nobody here, huh? What do we got? How much is a beer here? A whiskey's 30. Beer's 20. Huh, it's more expensive here. Tequila's 35. Oh, yep. Everything is more expensive here than it is at... And see, so you get stuff like this. Hazel's boob sweat. Like, this is taking away from the game. Maddie's bathwater. Like, this is dumb stuff. This is dumb. Okay. I guess it's time to move on. gonna move on. No, I can't. I can't. I gotta get my new horse. I get Cosmo. I don't see any trains running. I know Sunday's slow family day and all that, but yeah. yeah, I don't want to burn bridges. I don't want to ruin anybody else's time, so can't just go around turning black hat and just start killing stuff like that ain't gonna work. Oh here you can buy boats now. Maybe I should buy a boat. Take a cruise. I mean, the Western's fun, but for $30, I could try out Grand Theft Auto. Rooster says he plays on Dreamscape. And man, that world is... How big is this world? I mean, look at the size of this map, right? And Grand Theft Auto is like five of these combined with how big it is. I wonder if there's a time setting for Dreamscape or if it's just modern day. It'd be cool if like there was a, like the, one server I've watched, there's an it's an 80s server, so like you're RPing that everybody's in the 80s. That adds a little bit more difficulty, I think, to the RP. But Looked like there was trouble at the uh, Valentine Sheriff's Department, so figure I'd go towards trouble. I walked in. 
they're hiring lawmen all the time in this server. At least any time a position is given, it's to a lawman, and it's like, how much of that is needed? Galaxy, why don't you go ahead and make yourself scarce? We don't want to accidentally have you get caught in nothing. What we got oh, here boy. on this board? I can just stand over here. Of course. Now, what am I being charged of today? Uh, well, uh, I got a notification of a bank robbery, and there was yeah, an individual hogtied. Yeah, that was that, that was that motherfucker. Uh, he was hogtied. How can he uh, rob a bank if he was hogtied? It was him. Thanks, promise. There was two fellows there. They were trying to rob it. Uh, let's listen to this Dang. guy's RP. Oh, I think you know that, Marshall. There's no need to bullshit. No, I need an ID. I can't identify who you are. JK, you got James, it now? James Kidd. Hello? Ta da! Mr. Kidd. How you Did been, you Marshall? Call for Sheriff? Been good, it's been a while. Yeah, it has. I'll tell it's you been now. A while. My warrant, my warrant doesn't exist anymore. Your warrant? Yeah, they took it away. How do you know they took it away? I got told by a lawman. And having, imagine having to do that. When was this, Mr. Time. Kid? 20 minutes ago with that. But you know, if you'd be ever so gracious to let me walk, I'd appreciate it. We're just going to have to confirm that. <clears throat> Let's see here. Come on, you don't want to arrest a poor kid like myself. It's my 19th birthday tomorrow. Come on. Happy birthday. Sounds like he's 19. Well, it won't be a good birthday if I'm locked myself in a prison cell, will it? Looks like they have a warrant for questioning. For what, though? Looks like there was a robbery at Mercer. Do you know anything about that? Oh, no. I do. You do? I was there. Oh, you were there? Pinky, Pinky promise I don't know nothing about that. I believe you led the negotiations. Maybe, maybe I should go in and, and like well, say that this guy tried to I'll rob me. You know what? I and just start some drama. Fort Mercer. I mean, I'm pretty sure he was going to. You told one of the deputies your name there. I'll have touched. you know I do. I was not at Fort Mercer. Uh, it says here that uh, the hey man speak. I was speaking with revealed himself as James Kidd. Nah, not Nothing me. Nothing over first time yeah, chat. Apparently, Mr. Kidd escaped. Alla. Nah, me skating never. You know I'm too shy. I'm just sitting here spying on. Um, I don't know. You want to come clean? You got something you want to tell me? Chats of these people. It's hey. easy to come clean and be honest. Honesty is the best policy. Is what my mom always told me. Hey, well, I, w I want to guarantee that I can get out of this prison cell. I want to. Were you involved in this robbery at Fort Mercer? And you escaped. Well, I want a deal. I admit, I get out of prison. Well, I mean, I, I can't do that. I mean, I can. What I can do is I can actually get you an attorney, a uh, public defender over here, and if you want to take real, this to my trial. Other pair of boots is the only fucking lawyer that's around all the time. But you know, no, I will plead guilty. But fuck it, I want to reduce sentence. All right. Okay. All right. So we'll book you on a major armed robbery. James is hilarious. Can I my law picks back? Don't, I don't can't give it. You know I cannot me. give you those. Kind of annoying, Come on, Pappy. You know it goes to believe me. Guess that's uh. <laughs> nah, you know I can't do that. Come I apologize. On. I apologize, Mr. Kid. I can't You're do that. You're gonna make me ride all the way to fucking Van Horn again. <sighs> I, that's, yeah, unfortunately, I, there's nothing I can do about that. That is considered <laughs> contraband. <laughs> I apologize. Oh God. Mm. All right, Mr. Kid. <clears throat> Do not. Do, do not. do not. Do what? Don't do what? You know exactly what you're trying to do. I don't. And okay. you know exactly what you're trying to do. Hey, if hey, you hey, will hey, pass hey. those uh, two lock breaks over to that deputy right beside me, I appreciate that a lot. Too. Oh, come <clears> on. <throat> yeah. Which one am I handing it to? To oh, Edward. Okay. Thank you. He handed me one of them. It's okay, fun to good. kill him, That's fine. Yeah, I mean, that sounds right. 
All right, so kid, looks like I'm gonna get you for attempted capital murder, which carries what? a. What do you mean attempted capital murder? Did you get the more? Hold on, hold on. Uh, I think I did. Hold I on, hold on, hold, on. hold the fuck on. Second. What, what attempted capital murder? Hang on, just a second. Uh, do, do. And I thought we weren't stacking charges here, motherfucker. Who's stacking charges? Ain't nobody stacking charges. You were like attempted capital murder, and, and I stopped you. And I'm looking. Should I? Because uh, I'm reading something. Should I go in and. Attempted capital murder. Uh, let's see. Your so your sure. weapons? Yeah, yeah. Robbery. White white guns, blue wraps. Yeah, that's you. Huh? What? <laughs> white yep. guns, blue wraps. These are gold, white, and blue. But the weapons I have in my possession that came off your person are uh, oh, white, blue, them? and gold. Can I see them? Oh, I can't give you your weapon back, but I'll hold it right here. Yeah, okay. Let me see it. Gold Looks like your weapon. weapon. Is it the one on my back? Yes, yeah, the Carcano. Oh, um... Well... That... That... I'm gonna... That, I that definitely ties you to the crime. I can assure you... I did not kill anybody. Actually, it's more fun to as listen. As much as I'm a robber, a thief, I'm going to be a lurker in the game. you want to call me? I'm not a murderer. All right, so you escaped. All right. Huh? I'll get you for major arm robbery. Can I get that in a fine anyway? Because I'm so fucking bored in here already. Uh, well, I'll get you sent off in just a few brief moments. Don't send me to fucking Sissica. Oh, my God. At I least have let me to. Serve, at least let me serve locally. Let you serve locally. Yeah. For a class B felony. Come on. You know you like me. I'll even do a little dance for you. <laughs> Let's at least see I, the dance, Marshall. Yeah, I'll at least see the entertain the hello, dance. Hello, yeah. Hello, my darling. Hello, my goddamn dad. <laughs> Bet I'd love that dance in Sissico. Right I'm sure they would. Yeah. You fucking <laughs> rat bastard. All right, if you don't mind, I'm going your mask and your helmet. I mean, hat, excuse me. Are you actually going to send me a Cisco? I have to. I just did a funny dance for you. I I'm like so... it, but it, that's cutting off some sin at some, so, yeah. Oh, come on. Don't send me a Cisco. You don't know, have to. Okay, I guess he is funny to listen I'm to. Sure... Come on. Can you please let me serve here? I can't let you serve locally. I'm sorry, Mr. Kid. Yeah, you can. Say cheese, Mr. Kid. I'll say cheese, all right. She is your fucking asshole. Whoa, come on. <laughs> That's not nice. We've been uh, absolutely cordial with you, James. Sending me to Cisco isn't very cordial. Do you have enemies in Cisco, Mr. Good? I mean, depends. Is Pappy Davis on Cisco yet? No, I don't own Cisco, Cisco at all. Pink guns. Well, then, I don't know, but I have an enemy in this station now. Fucking Marshall. Damn, piece of shit. Mr. Kid. I'll get my revenge. It's only a matter of time. Wait, you'll do what? Nothing. Okay. I don't know if I needed to add a little more time to that. Oh, don't you dare, Pappy. Then again, though, the revenge will be sweet as it is, so, you know. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Hello, my, my uh, darling. Hello, my right time gal. <laughs> Excuse me, is there an officer I can talk to to report a crime out here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, give me one second. You, sir. Um, there's a slight issue, though, Mr. Oh, Davis. Sorry, you're right here. Uh, yeah, I was just um, accosted, and, uh, and there was an attempted robbery by a, a, a Mr. Kid. His Mr. name Kid. is James Kid. Tried to rob I me just a bit ago. I your locks. And, um, oh. huh. yeah, he was a very yeah, unpleasant fellow. I just didn't know if there's a yeah, progress, you know a program I need to go through to report I it. Or... Well, I do believe we have him in custody right there. You so know if you how want this works. To, uh, Give all of the noise, real quick. Please. Well, I don't so know if we can, can add do... charges on if he's already in custody, but he... Yeah. Um, Mr. Kid. Let me talk to the marshal. Hey, Pappy. Thank you. Yeah, give me just... Yeah. So there's a guy out here that wants to report the crime is against this guy right here. So. Wait, what? Who? Did I hear uh, Joshua Hafer out there? Is it? How does he know my last name? How does he know my last name? I didn't give him my last like name. Him, but I will say something. Sounds bad, right? But I tried, I mean, I tried talking to him 
What was your name? So I can take it down and report. Uh, yeah, my name's Joshua, and I don't know how that man knows my last name. I never gave him my last name. That's that's super weird and creepy. Like, is he following me? Is he stalking me? Like, that, that should be something else added on. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Joshua? Uh, hey, for H A F is in Frank E R. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Edward. Okay. Um, I'm going. If you didn't to... tell me, in, I'm sorry, buddy. He just looked like a shifted character, too. I mean. I think he tried to grab my ass, too, but I, I, I don't really oh. want to report that. Oh. That, that can be accepted. That could. Oh. Your weapons, you have no weapons uh, right now. You know that. I mean, just. Uh, okay. I'm gonna hand you this notebook and I want you to fill it out for me. Is it titled differently than my personal no, notebook? No, not at all. I just I tell that to It everybody. is not, sadly. I tell it okay, I'll, I'll find it. Not just you. Trust me. Yes, sir. I wish I could rename it, but no, I can't. So it's can, easier uh, for me. I have, I have like 10 of them on me. Minutes, 10. Okay, not that I mean, one. I got like five, so give me a second. <laughs> oh, no, you're all good. I'll give you 18 minutes there. Fifteen, and that's it. I'm not going any lower. That's it. Okay, nope, Western 15. Sky sworn statement. Date? Um, 16. January, March, you keep April, asking. May, June, July. Thank you. So that's seven. Hmm, it's okay. 30. Nine. 1899, I think. Rhodes Bank. Hi, Mr. Kid. Hi, Mr. Kid. You were found incapacitated at the Bank of Rhodes during a bank robbery. Upon further investigation, you matched the description of the warrant request for Mercer Arm Robbery. Okay. All right, sir. Sorry, Papa. P.O. Box number 11. I. can't describe how much joy that gave me. Joshua. Oh, that was good shit. Hey, I would have to, uh, have to worry about the war anymore. I've been waiting for the day seeing statement. Mr. James Marshall. Kid. Oh, yeah. That's good shit right there. Yeah, I love it. In the oh, yeah. I'm sitting his ass over there. Roads. And also trying right. to. Yeah, my Taking a witness statement on this gentleman here, too? Yeah, so apparently James Kidd attempted to rob him earlier, is what he said. Yeah, and he tried oh, to grab my ass, statement. too. Don't forget that. I put that in the statement. Oh, you, you can verify that it is that gentleman? I mean, if, if audio alone, like with the voice, is, is enough, then yes. Also, like when I saw him, he had a red mask on with some goggles. He put on a brown cowboy yeah, hat. Yeah, that matched the mask I just took off of him. Okay, okay. okay. yeah. And uh, don't forget the grabbing the ass part. Like, I put that down. Let me give you Got a you. So you want to press charges on him? What kind of charges are you trying to press? Well, I just, I mean, maybe you just put in his file. Like, it was a friendly grab, you know, like a pinch. So I guess it wasn't that bad. <laughs> All but, right. but again, the so robbery Ranger, part, I took off. Do an information report. And you took yes, off? Sir. Yeah, he tried yeah, to rob me, and I was like, report, I'm like, I'm out of here. You know, like. Okay. But so yeah, I don't know knows. what the penalty is for that. Let me find the right notebook, sir. It's going to take a second. What's your name? To did he pull a gun on you? Uh, Colt, C-O-L-T. No, he did not pull a gun on me. He just, he wouldn't okay. take his mask off. You know, that's the thing. Yeah. Okay, again, this is going to take a second. I got a lot of notebooks. Oh, no, you're all good. And, and honestly, I came back to town here uh, to see what was going on, and then I heard I heard him in the cell, and so I figured I'd listen for a second. And and when I knew he wasn't a threat to me anymore, I, I figured I'd press some charge, or at least you know, make my statement. Yes, yeah, sir, absolutely. So with Mr. Hayford here, you want me to put an information report on James Kidd? Yeah, that's fine. And I took the witness statement from the guy at the jail. If you want me to add that to your arrest report. 
That's and again, how good. did he know my last name? Like, I never gave him that. Like, he must be clairvoyant or he must be stalking me. Something like that. I have no earthly idea. But the, um, because I didn't ask your name in the newspaper until... or something. I mean, I, I, I guess. I guess I could. Uh, I it. can't think of any other ways, really. Well, I feel better knowing that he is serving time in, uh, where he's in Absolutely. prison, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I believe us. We t us too. Okay. Yes. Wait, is it is it going to be out anytime soon? Should I should I start fearing for my life later? Or? No, he's in there for twenty months. I think he's after the marshal now, as far as I can consider. Yeah, you're good. he can come after me all he wants. Oh. So you're good. You're good. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen, and uh, you're welcome. Appreciate your time. Oh, I usually carry cigarettes to give around to people, but I'm all out. But all right, thank you for your time. No worries. Thank you. Take care. Right, gentlemen, I'll be heading to Valentine. All right, appreciate your help, brother. Be safe. Okay. Well, at least we got involved in a little bit of RP. Something. Let's drink some dandelion water. Is that guy riding a dead horse around? <laughs> they knew my name, though. So, like... Either they ID searched by, you know, like trying to give me an item or something, or they knew it from the newspaper, or they have another pair of boots, like they said, that they know me at. So, I mean, to me, the the mannerisms reminded me of Winston, but I don't know that for sure. All right, I got, can I sell a... None of this. None of this can go to this guy over here. Ah. Man. I mean, I guess you got to make your own story, right? But could go hunting. I do like hunting. Uh, let's see how close it is to dinner time. It's still like 30 minutes. Uh, I mean, I guess I go towards the trapper and sell a couple things I have. One piece of venison. I got 19 jerky though. I don't need more. And see, I can't carry around my Springfield rifle that I bought for hunting because I'll get robbed and someone will steal it. So I have to carry around a carbine. All his boots. Oh, he's got a bounty on him, huh? Well, I hope he gets charged with sexual assault. For what he tried to pull on me earlier. Do the bounty boards actually show real life players now? I think they do, right? I remember they didn't at first, but. It's always hard to see my screen when it's dark in the game. Gotta close the windows. See if we can get ourselves a panther. Panthers are worth a lot of money. You hang around, right? Oh. 
Here it is. See? No. Shit. Fuck. Oh, man. The panther got me. Oh, I was... Oh, man. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. I was ready for that. I wasn't quite ready for that. The deer distracted me. Man, I saw the red dot. Ah, garbage. Alert, doctor. Damn. I knew he's there. Like, I know he's there. Like, I hunt that panther all the time because that skin is worth 52 bucks. He's killed me once a long time ago when I first started in, in county. But I was shooting the deer, and I was getting off, and I couldn't aim because I was like, I kept concentrating on my horse all the time, like making the horse flee. I should have ran further away, got out my shotgun. Ah, man, that's embarrassing. In front of, in front of all these people, too. Like, ah. I got Dr. Heinrich. Oh, that's a German guy coming. That is unfortunate. Man. Only takes two swipes. I, I knew that, and I thought the shotgun blast would at least stagger him. But, man, he got me. I got panther eyes in my pocket, though. Every time I kill a panther, I'm not, I'm not getting rid of the eyes anymore. I'm going to carry them around with me so that people know. Like, I can show them the eyes. Be like, I killed a panther. Like, look at these eyes. And see, now I forget the rules of, like, do I remember getting killed by a panther? I don't think I do. Right. Do I have time to look up the rules? Because they changed them recently, but I'm pretty sure that was only for, like, getting robbed and other, like, types of PvP combat. Like, if you die, you're supposed to not remember anything for an hour ahead of that. I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to wake up with claw marks all over me and blood. Damn murder kitties. That was 52 bucks I missed out on. Now I'm going to have to pay a doctor's fee as well. Can I see my inventory? No, I cannot. Well, at least that's some, that's some story. I wonder if I can put a scar on my back. Should have had the shotgun. Ah, oh. Again, it's so embarrassing. Like I knew what I needed to do. I said it right as I was coming up there. I'm like, okay, time to hunt some panthers. I know they hang out right here. Still got me. Even though I was fully aware it was going to happen, still got me. Uh, Heinrich's a good doctor, though. Oh, actually, dinner might look like it might be more like 40 minutes. I'm going to make some smash burgers tonight. Ooh, delicious. Oh, the blood's gone. The claw marks still remain. I hope the doctor doesn't get taken out by the panther. I see light. Yeah, I wonder why there's a man dead and a deer just simply staring at him. <laughs> this, this guy's good. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm going to assume it was a cougar and you were not mauled to death by uh, this deer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not. Going to suture your wounds. Give you a nice little bandaging. 
and a healthy dose of cocaine. You're going to feel better in three, two, one. <gasps> oh, 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 my God. Thank you, Doctor. I do feel so What's much happened? better. Um, my, my memory is a little foggy, but I, I was coming here to get this deer, and some shadow jumped out of that jungle there and got me. I see, and uh, it was not this deer that did you in? Hope not. That'd be embarrassing. Definitely I mean, it has empty look in its eye. It's not the deer's fault. If it if it did happen that way, I mean, I deserved it. I guess he he looks like a good deer. Well, to be safe now, yeah. Never know what looks in this marsh. <laughs> Ah, that's so neat. I just want to give you a little tip there, Doctor. Thank you for, you know, bringing my <laughs> I back. I appreciate it. All right. If you're ever out in the wilderness, I always recommend a shotgun, which it seems you have one on your back. You know, so I got it out. It just wasn't in time, you know. It, those, uh-huh. I guess it, if it was a panther, that those things are quick. Do I need to uh, think about canceling the alert, or is it uh, is all done? Oh no, it is already done. So yeah, you can you can cancel the alert. It's over and done with now. Th- thank you very much, sir. Well, let's find this cougar. By the way, are you out uh, hunting for deer skins uh, by any chance? Uh, there's a lot of good deer in this area, so that's a good source of income. I was actually coming to hunt panthers, to be perfectly honest, and I must have been ah. unprepared. Fair enough. However, I am posting a bounty for uh, deer hide and buckskin, if you're interested. What about pronghorn, or, or not that one? Uh, not really in the need for pronghorn. Uh, well, I would love to sell my skins because, uh, you know, the trapper, he only gives like 350 per, so. Well, 350s, and I would do four. Oh, five. Fair enough. You're a good man. All right, five, and um, maybe I could write down your contact information here to, to get it to you. My PO number is three one zero. I am Heinrich Anholt. I can't spell that. Uh, all right, Doc. I, I got your information down with your PO and. Uh, if, if I get some skins, um, I'll try to get maybe a few together at a time so that that way it's a it's a quick meeting to give you a maybe a bulk order or something. <laughs> that would be wonderful, Dunker. You know, I think you've rescued me before in the past, and you are a great, great doctor. You, you take your responsibilities <laughs> super serious, and I love it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Again... Best we not dilly dally in this area. This is where the cougars like to hang out. If you want this skin right here, you can have it. I'll guard you while you do it. Usually the cougars only come out at night, though, so I I think we're okay for now. Yeah. I was coming around Jesus that corner, works. and and you're not in my head. I was like saying, "I know cougars around here. This is one I'm going to come and get." And this deer distracted me. Uh, maybe they were working together, the deer and the cougar or something. But like then all of a sudden the cougar got me, uh-huh. and that was it. I feel that. Well, thank you, my friend. Have a beautiful day. 
You too. See, he's a good guy. I mean, he, he RPs the heck out of it. Let's take this off. I'm getting hot. I mean, see, every, like, I know RP in other games, like, every downturn can still be a positive. Like, I got, got to talk. To, I got... His P.O. I couldn't spell his name right. I mean, I could cheat and go here. But. <sighs> no, that's, that's, it'd be more, it'd be funnier if I misspell his name the first time that I talked to him. Get rid of. Ah, oh, great, now that I clicked up in here. Okay, get rid of it. T. Make it go away. Let's do slash A. There you go. Done? All right. Good. Damn cougars. So I guess you do remember stuff, or at least it isn't that big of a deal if you do. could just have ended my character and his death was died to a cougar a fitting end right especially when his last words are I'm gonna kill some cougars $5 per skin. Wait. Why am I holding on to it? Oh, is that what they added? Remember, they changed hunting. They had to change the script for it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. So, like, the quality of the skin actually matters now. I get blood all over the skin. Is that better? I f if I flee my horse, then I'm going to lose everything. So I guess I better go down here. Yeah, excuse me. Hey. Don't, Galaxy, don't leave. I got a skin on you. Galaxy! No, Galaxy, don't leave. Oh. You're lucky, sir. And see, now the skin's gone. Oh, boy. You, boy. There's more deer out here and other animals. Let's go catch some. Maybe I should get my bow out. Usually over here there's some more.
Unequip this, equip this. what I learned from Joaquin. Taught me how to hunt. Wind's blowing back this way, so it should be alright. Oh, are you fake deer? I'm not going to get anything from you. Ah. Uh. That always stinks, right? I think I'm sneaking up on an animal and it's a fake deer. Another fake animal again. I'm wasting all these arrows on fake animals. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just go sell what we got to the trapper. And if we meet Heinrich again, we meet him again. not, then not. On my way home, I should be there in about 15 minutes. Alright, gotta start thinking about dinner. So, let's sell all this stuff. bills. Another fake turkey, right? paid my bill had I not given him a $20 tip. Alright, that's right. I gotta go make dinner. Thanks y'all for watching. If you're not following, make sure to follow. Have a blessed day, everybody.